Let's see if I can get Daryl to drive the, the Hellcat, Daryl. Gotta try it out, haven't you? You ready? You wanna drive it? Sure. Let's do it. Let's go ahead. We're, oh, I gotta get my keys from PJ. I'll be right back. Okay. Got the Hellcat keys. Boom, red key always. Got the red key for you, Daryl. <laughs> so you want Cuda? Hellcat. Daryl's about to drive. Here you go, Daryl. Black key, huh? Yep. <laughs> never drive the black key. I never use the black key ever if. <laughs> All right, we're here. This is gonna be your first. Is this your first time driving the Hellcat, Daryl? Yep, first time. Oh yeah. You're gonna love it. You're gonna love it. Let's go. Here we go. <laughs> oh yeah, it's hot, man. Definitely hot. That's the, that's the radar. <laughs> Sound system so good in this car. I oh, love yeah. the Harman card, man. That's all factory. Yo, hold on. Put it in park real quick. You got to do this. This is a must. I can't have you driving around in the 500. <laughs> I got to have you in the whole 7. See, so you can put it in custom. You go to 700 plus. This is usually what I ride around in because I keep the 700 power. Um, but then the transmission goes to the street, paddle shifters and all that. But we're going to go. You want traction control on or off? On. Okay, okay, okay. <laughs> okay, so we'll go right here. We'll go 700 for you then. I just can't have you riding around in the 500. You got to get the whole experience. I got the whole experience of that all the way. So you got to get the whole one of this one, man. Well, right tonight, so it's totally different, right? Oh, totally different. Yeah, but that, that's what's supposed to be. So what's that chime for? Oh, that's uh, my radar. Auto. Yeah, so that way um, I don't get no tickets. Because <laughs> this, this will do it for you. You gotta take it on the highway, man. That's where you gonna get it. You gotta take it on the highway. It's immediate, isn't it? Oh yeah. Instant. It's the funnest part about having this car is um getting onto the on ramp of the freeway. Wow. Funnest part ever, man. I go gusto on that part <laughs> for sure. Hey, see, you're not even hitting it, right? No. It's just like no. that. You just put your foot on it slightly, and that's what's giving you. Then when, you hit, when you hit it, it's crazy. Barely giving it any gas. Yeah. It's the most exciting thing ever to me. Can't imagine what that demon's gonna be like. Oh, that demon's. That's what I'm saying. I'm driving around the Hellcat every day, and I'm like, man, that demon's gonna be insane. They got the bigger wheels. They got the come with the radios on there. It's hitting wheelies and shit. You know, <laughs> come on, man. They ride so smooth, don't it? Easily a, a daily drive, and I drive it every day. As you can see, I'm a big ass dude too, so I'm driving and I'm so comfortable all the time. Like, and that's the reason why I was cross shopping this with uh, Camaros and Corvettes. I was gonna get the Z06, um, the newer one, mm -hmm. but it's, it's too damn small. For I, me. I watched your video on that. Yeah. You're pretty you, cramped. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I was super cramped, man. Super. And the Camaro, did you see what I did the, the, the Z01? Mm -hmm. I was the most cramped in it. I think I had more room in the Corvette than I had in the Camaro. I think so. Camaro, I don't know why the sight line, the roof line's so low. Yeah. Man, you can't hardly see out of it. Nothing. I can't see nothing. And then, then me, when you like this, you really can't see nothing because I can't even move my damn head, you know? So, <laughs> I can't wait to do a review on that demon, though. The demon's going to be crazy. Because in this, you see how you hit the gas and feel like the front end lip up? I can only imagine what it's going to be like. I, I wonder if the demon's going to be able to do a wheelie really with the regular tires, like, you know, like, come on. Yeah, I might be able to. Might be able to, huh? How much horsepower you should be able to. <laughs> Give it the beans. <laughs> they put you in there, don't they? Oh, don't they glue you to it? Oh, yeah. One of my guys uh, uh, at the Porsche ship I, uh, took him on a ride in my Hellcat. And he called it the warp. Like, you know, you go to Star Trek and you go to the warp. Warp one. That was warp one. This was it. That's what the dude felt like. He said it best, man. It's that warp. I love the warp, man. Cause it's something about that little moment where you kind of like, when you're going super fast and you floor it, you know what's coming, but then at the same time, you kind of, for a second, you kind of stop breathing a little bit and you get focused, but then after after it's all, all the dust settles, you kind of look in both mirrors, look in the rear view, there ain't no police around there, you kind of like, ha ha ha, you know, it's like giggles, you know what I mean? It puts the biggest smile on my face every day, man. I love it. What kind of gas mileage you get with this? Oh uh, shit, right there, it's probably just like 16 miles to the gallon right now. I mean, in the, yeah, in, I can't complain. About yeah, that. in the city, if I'm if I'm mainly just always in the city, I probably get if I'm driving it the way I always do, which is tough. I'm gonna drive it around maybe 11, 13 miles per gallon in yeah. the city. But on the highway, I've gotten 27 easily. I put it in 70 on, on 70. Yeah. I cruise control at 70 miles an hour, and I get 27 miles to the gallon. Now, when I first made, when I first got my Hellcat, on my five things I hate about my Hellcat, I told people that I hate the gas mileage, right? The thing was because I never owned a car like this. You know what I mean? I knew what I was getting into when I got it because I did all the research, the YouTube stuff, and everything. But living with it, it was like, damn, I'm really at the gas station like every two days, you know. <laughs> so I can only imagine how bad it is for you and your oh, cooter. Yeah. See what I'm saying? 
<laughs> but nonetheless, I knew what I was getting into when I got it, and I, I, I love it. Took me a lot. Nobody down there, you should go that way. This way? Yeah, but ain't nobody down there. That gives us a good long stretch for you to hit it. I love this car. Woo! Why you let up, man? You gotta just go and hit it. How fast do you add it up to? Man, buck 43. You know, and it's not even summer yet, so imagine when I get to that summer, you know? And I get that good long stretch, it's gonna be crazy. Daryl's gonna give you that last pull. Give it to him right, Daryl. Give it to him right, Daryl. <laughs> you see how you catch? I see like even if the traffic is way ahead up there, no problem. It's no, you catch up right behind them. It's like damn, you gotta slow down no matter what, you know. <laughs> even though if they're a good distance, like I've tried sometimes letting people go way up so that way they give me a good little long pull, and you catch it up to regular traffic oh, like yeah. this. Yeah, we're hitting 90 there, and it didn't even feel like it. Yeah, it feels like you're doing 50. Yeah. You know? That's why I say this is the scary thing about this car, man. So when I when I heard the demon coming out, I'm like, oh man, this, this is about to be insane. I can't wait to see it. I can't wait to do a review on it though. Yeah, I don't know if there's gonna be one in town. I know, right? I I, I travel to go do a review on a demon. You might have to. I might I might just have to, right? Man, that'd be an epic review. So many people ask me why I'm gonna get the demon. And I was telling people like you know this within all your years of experience of life, and there's always gonna be something new coming out, right? Always Something Always gonna be something new. So you said be happy with what you got. Yep. Be happy with what you got, man. 100. percent Because otherwise, you 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 chasing happiness. You know, with cars and other stuff, right. just give what you got. Be happy with it and take care of it. And appreciate it. You know. I mean, I'm at 500 horsepower on my vet, and I'm happy with that. I, yeah. You know. That's pretty how, best. How often do you really use 700 horsepower? Right. Not really. 100. percent You don't. Not around town. Yeah, you're right. You can't even use. The you can't even use the whole 485 that the scat packs have. No. If we're gonna if we're gonna be uh, logical and, and, and be 100 percent with it, you can't use that. You're not using it every day. And your average person definitely sure as hell ain't pushing a scat pack to 50 percent of its limits. You know, but so many people just want to have the most upper echelon and the best yep. of the best. You know, you just and, want the bragging rights. Yep, yeah. that's it. The bragging rights, 100 you know? percent. How you like the Hellcat, Daryl? I love it. Yeah. Love it. Yep. <laughs> man, it's it's addicting, man. It's addicting. There's times like um, where I, I'm, I'm like, you know what, man, I'm gonna be calm today, and I'm gonna just drive the Honda, or I'm gonna drive my girl's Jeep. And, but every time I walk out to my car, I'm just like, nah, I gotta nah, take, I gotta drive. I gotta yeah. take the Hellcat, man. I got to. It's just, I have to. You know, it's, it's, it's calling me. <laughs> so what can I do? Tell them about your experience. So what, you, what what's the things you like about it, man? Oh, it's just uh, great handling, and don't even have to touch the gas to really get on it. And man, you're right up to speed right now and it's just so smooth it's like butter I said that supercharger it's that almost, wine that wine it's instantaneous as soon yep. as you get that gas boy and you gotta think it's moving like this and we're not playing with the paddle shifters we're not we're not on a stick we're not you know what I mean it's like this in our automatic and just slapping it and driving and driving and it's driving like that yep. so imagine if you're really trying to put it to its peak and to its real like performance hundred percent. But man, I know we said we was done after we got out of the uh, Cuda, <laughs> but now we done now. It's just like that, man. We're out of here. Bug, we out. Hey, thanks, Corey. Oh, no problem, man. Thanks for thanks. letting me uh, review the Cuda, man. That no was a, a memorable moment for me, for sure. <laughs> Next time somebody asks me to drive a manual, um, 
muscle car. I'm, I'm at the, you know, I'm at the busy prepare myself for that. <laughs>